Hey guys, broadcasting live here late night uh, from the beautiful Florida um, from my car. Uh, got done today, a uh, long day, uh, work, uh, full time uh, job, and then at night uh, door dashing. And now YouTube. Uh, even though it's late right now, it's uh, almost 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I uh, still wanted to go live. Woohoo, what's up, man? I'm late. Yes, I'm late, but I want to. Jacob, good to see you. But I want to be consistent. I want to uh, still show up. Uh, what's my number one piece of advice to have progress in life? To show up, uh, whether it's late, uh, whether it's sloppy, whether it's imperfect. Uh, the persistent uh, tend to progress, and there's a tenacity there, and that's what I recommend. Thank you guys for joining me late. Zelda, good to see you. Jacob, what's up, man? And um, Queen, Queen, I was thinking about you. Thank you, Queen, for staying here, Jacob. Hey, Sam, how was your night going? It's going good uh, towards the end of the night now, like I said, but I, I feel good. I didn't get a workout in today. That's one thing I would like to do, but I, I woke up early. Uh, went to my main job. That was good. Um, I worked at a Starbucks. And then after that, I did door dashing. And I made about $85 tonight door dashing from about 4.30 p.m. to uh, now, 10.30 p.m. Uh, so, but it's still been good. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy driving. I enjoy constant movement. I enjoy going to different places. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's a side hustle, too. But I enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. So it's both. Why do I do certain things? Uh, because I enjoy to do them. Uh, they bring in extra money and it creates a level of flexibility and it creates a, more options for me now and in the future to build a life that is going forward to more of my creating rather than my dealing with. And in life, you have to use everything you have at every moment you have. You have to take the plastic off your couch. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you have extra hours in the day and you waste them sitting idly, you have the plastic on your couch. You know, back in the day, there were people who would put plastic coverings on their furniture because they didn't want it to get dirty, they didn't want it to get used. But the whole purpose of buying furniture, the whole purpose of having anything is to use it. You know, what's good, if you, even if you buy a nice expensive couch, but you put a plastic covering on it, what you do is you never enjoy that couch because you never really feel the cashmere, the leather, or the cushy uh, covering. You feel the plastic hard leather that sticks to your butt. You not only didn't use what you have, but you, here, you, here you are, you bought something and you never enjoyed it. Here you are, you, you have the, your youth, maybe you have your health, you have a lot of good things and you're wasting your life. You're not going outside, you're not working, you're not being productive. You have a good couch and you're keeping the plastic on. You have a, a life where you have resources, you have time, you have energy, you have health, you have different things for a moment in time, and instead of using them, using all of them until you're totally exhausted, at night you should be totally exhausted. If you can't sleep at night, you have the plastic on your couch. You have time that you're not using, you're covering up. You have energy that you're not using, you're covering it up. You have talents, you have gifts that you're not using, you're covering it up. And instead of life being worn out, you know, life is sticking to your butt because you're not using what you have at your availability. And that's the lesson tonight. That's the structure topic. I think about that often. Yes, if you use something, it may get dirty, it may break, it may not be perfect. Yes, if you door dash, you may get some orders wrong. Yes, if you go into the corporate world, you may struggle. Yes, if you do anything in life, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to get dirty. You're going to screw up. But if you don't do anything, you leave the plastic on the couch, you wasted money to buy something, and then you never even used it. Don't waste your life. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. Don't waste your gifts. Right? IT engineer capacity manager 
I started my career as an electrician working construction. Well, I started my career working for minimum wage at um, a CD store in the mall. Okay. Then I, then I was an apprentice electrician. Okay. I did five years. I went to school at night and I worked during the day. I worked all different types of construction jobs. Then I got my own electrical license. Okay. I studied for two more years. I have my own electrical contracting business, a nonprofit organization. Then I got into IT engineering. I've done that for the last 10, 15 years. Now I'm a capacity manager. Okay. And I DoorDash at night and I YouTube. I use every bit of energy I have. Every bit of talent I have is used. The plastic is all off my fucking couch. Okay? A lot of people, what do you do, right? What do you do? Math? I thought you'd be ready to respond quick. There's silence. But there's a nasty sound when you sit on a plastic, covered up life. And that's all right. Because it's my life and I'm using every bit of it. Everything I have I was never the best basketball player or football player, but whenever I played, I gave it my all. And if something isn't good for you anymore, then you change. There was times in my life, well, I don't want to play football anymore. I don't want to do this. And I changed, but you stay productive. Okay. Keep doing things till you figure out what works for you. Idleness is covering up your life. It's covering up your gifts you don't just find out what you're meant to do. You keep doing stuff until you figure it out. And then if something gets tiring, if it gets exhausting, then you do something else. But you keep moving. I often say, I often say if you're totally lost in life, just keep moving. Because if you stay down, this world will keep kicking you. If you stay down, the world's going to keep kicking you. Ray, may I ask you what you do, Ray? What do you do, Ray? Fucking bullshit. <laughs> And that's the message tonight. All right, let's go with comments. Good job. Free to be me, Sam. Get that, yeah. Be productive. Get whatever you want to get done. I'm not just chasing money. Money's nice. Money can be nice. You can like money if you earn it, if you don't manipulate, and you don't bullshit about it. But I, I enjoy DoorDash. Okay. And I enjoy YouTube. I'm doing it here late, 11 o'clock at night. I, I don't need to. Don't need to do DoorDash. No, I don't need to share my life. I never did. Because I've always been willing to work for whatever I need. I'm willing to live in my car. I'm willing to do what I need to do to take care of myself. But I want to do, to live a life that's inspiring to me. To do things I like to do. And that's part of the reason. Yeah, part of the reason is also money, but I'm working for it. But the other part is to build a life around things I enjoy to do more. And you use every bit of, when you use your gifts, it's not all work because you enjoy it. You know, YouTube is work. You got to show up, but I enjoy it. DoorDash, I, you know, you want to do things you enjoy, but still work. And there's sometimes you got to work in, in a construction plant because you got to do what you got to do. You got to do all those things in life. Okay. And it's part of life. Good job. Zelda, not bad. Good. Mel, what's up, killer? Killing the dashing, yeah. $85 tonight. Look, uh, 4.30 to 10.30. But I will say I have to be mindful. I didn't get into the gym. Um, uh, but, you know, uh, it was cool today in Florida. It was only 65 degrees Fahrenheit, South Florida. So I just took it as an opportunity to just, uh, just dash all night long. So we'll see. But I got to balance it out. Joe, consistency is the key. It is to everything. Just showing up. Showing up is key. Tony. Sam, how you been, brother? I've been good. I feel good. I'm very thankful. How you been, Tony? Love and respect to the saxaholics. Jig up. Your Sam's mom's calling me. What? GT Sam's. What does that mean, Jacob? What does that mean? Kenworth of greatness. How is Florida, bro? Uh, Florida's great. Uh, I was speaking to people up north, and they were telling me that um, I don't know what it is. Like it feels like 15 degrees, which I know this time last year I was in uh, New Jersey, so. 
Well, what I could tell you is, you know, you just have to, um, you know, you just have to start to position your life where you want to be. Okay. But it's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take work. You know, you're not going to get where you want to be sitting on your couch, sitting on your plastic. Uh, you know, Florida's great, man. I mean, look, a cold front for the next two days is 65 degrees to 70 degrees as a high. Uh, I'll take a cold front 70 degrees. I don't want to take a cold front 15 degrees and below. I did that. I did that for 37 years. And what I realized is I don't like to change the seasons. Uh, what I realized is I don't like the culture environment of up north. Um, I like Florida. I like palm trees. I like tropical environment. I like the more uh, uh, bigger land to roam. I like it. Queen, glad to see you tonight, Queen. Queen, it's always good to see you. I love you, Queen. You're welcome. Yeah, Mel. Plastic couch covers were used by plastic people impressing plastic people. Fake-ish. Mel, you already know what it is. I fell, I fall in love every time I go into the sushi spot now when I'm door dashing, man. I, I do, oh man, I like the Asian girls, man. I'm a sucker for love. Queen, you're right about that, Sam. Thank you, Colin. Don't worry about a dirty troll. I'm not worried about anything. Thank you, though, Colin. Look, I showed up for a year and a half. These I outdo, well, I outdo all the trolls. Okay, they come in for a while. They don't have the energy to keep up. But but look, it's not even about that. It's not about me bearing it. But it's just about look. I have the actual life experience to speak for itself. Okay, I'm not I'm not trying to say anything. You don't want to look. I I don't need to block you. A, a troll is a view. It still counts as revenue. So I don't really don't care. I wouldn't block people if it's all about money. And, and look, these trolls, they're just jealous because they don't have the work ethic to have a YouTube channel. They don't have the character that showed up to work. You know, and so it's good that you see that. Because that's what you deal with all the time in life. But I'll still make a video every day. I'll still go live, even if it's at 11 o'clock after three jobs. Okay? Well, I fucking raise over there masturbating seven times a day with no job. Okay? That's all right. I could do it. Dealt with it my whole life. And what I could find is you, you can't care what people think. You got to work for what you want. I treat people right. And that's all you can do. Good job. Jacob, I'm back. What I miss? Gina. <gasps> Israel's in the house. Good to see you, brother. Peace emoji to you. Queen. And I don't mind. Is the devil's playground. Well, Queen, excellent comment. You're 100% right. Jacob. Mom called me from the other side of the house to get her cottage cheese. All right. Well, hey, got to take care of Mom Dukes. Tony. I'm great, Sam. Although a good friend of mine has me so um, trying to help him out, figure out the ban uh, later. My friend's well, well-being and peace of mind get the most important. No, amen, brother. Tony, I love you, brother. You're a very positive person. I appreciate you. And I appreciate, uh, thank you. I, I just appreciate you for who you are. Uh, so good job, uh, Tony. Good to see you, brother. M. Toph, what's up, man? Unfortunately, the dashing hotspots are 15 to 25 minutes away from me. My first day is tomorrow. Wish me luck. I will. I'll pray for you. And brother, nothing is perfect. So if you got to travel a little bit, just do it. You're going to mess up a little bit in the beginning. That's okay. Today, I got an order for like $7. The guy didn't, he didn't put the right gate code. He didn't order the right thing. I picked up exactly what he ordered. And then he goes, when I came there, all he ordered was like uh, a chicken sandwich or something. I said, uh, here's your chicken sandwich. He goes, oh, where's the drink and sauce? I said, here's what you ordered. I said, you didn't order a drink or anything like that. He goes, oh, I didn't put it in there. And he gave me a bad rating. I said, you know, but I just kept my mouth. I mean, what are you going to do? He was nice to me, but as soon as I left, I checked my rating. It dropped. So he obviously, you're going to have bad experiences, but you can't get scared. MTOF, show up. You're going to be fine. Don't get overwhelmed, brother. I'm praying for you. I'm pulling for you, brother. I, I believe in you. MTOF, just show up. Scared? Show up. Scared? I was scared as hell my first couple door dashes. You're going to be scared. That's okay. Hit. This is what you do. You log on. You hit, I got enough gas. Everything just check and just hit start dashing. Okay? And just be scared and do it. Be scared and do it. Travel to 15, 25 minutes. You know, it, it's okay if you even don't make money the first couple days. I just want to encourage you to show up and to do it. Even if you don't like it and you don't want to continue it, just give it a couple days. Stay with it. Stay with it for a few days to build your confidence. And, and you know, and you can do whatever you want. It's your life. It's not, you know, I just want to encourage you. 
that it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to get a bad rating. You just keep showing up. You're going to outlast all the trolls. You're going to outlast all the people who can't order their food right and want to give you a bad rating. You keep showing up, and that's how you take the plastic off your couch. Good job. Uh, and then Queen says, a mind and time are terrible things to waste. Well, damn it, Queen, you preaching tonight. Good job, Queen, Tony. Sam, I've got a DoorDash question. Okay, is there a delivery area? There's a delivery map on the Dasher app. There's two apps for DoorDash. There's the DoorDash delivery app, and then there's the Dasher app for the people who deliver food. And on the Dasher app, when you sign up, you're signed up to a region based on how, you know, whatever your zip code is in your area. And you can pretty much travel within a two hour radius. And when you log on, it'll show you a heat map of the state you're in and the regions on where they need dashers. Uh, I recommend that you start in an area you know and you stay there for about a week, to, uh, two weeks, I would say, stay in an area you know. Because after the first week, my experience so far, it gets better because you get used to the restaurants, you get used to the people and you start to build consistency and you'll get more efficient and you'll make more money. Everything in life takes several weeks, if not months to figure out. Um, and then as you go, you can branch out from there, but you can technically travel all over the country in DoorDash, wherever they are servicing people and they're servicing more and more areas. So uh, I think Chad uh, Instagram messaged me uh, that he's done that. He's traveled all over where they have it. If you're going to travel outside your state or region, you just have to email DoorDash, he said, and you can go. That's why it's a nomad's best friend. You, you can cancel your shift at any time. You can create your shift. You can dash now. If they need dashers, you'll be texted uh, when they need dashers. And you should log on the app and log off immediately to continue to check. Like you can log on right now and then log off and log back on. And when I say log on, I just mean hit the app, open it up. If nothing's available, just go back to your home screen, then open up the app again. And then it'll, there may be an opening. It's that quick. So sometimes you got tap, 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 tap. And it'll show you on the map, it'll turn to red and it'll show you different features and you click on it. It's very easy. It's a great interface app. That's why I like it above every other food service, Uber Eats or Postmates, is I like the app and the interface. It takes a little while to get used to, I like everything, but you're going to be fine. Good job. Mel, you're doing it. Nobody can tell you ish. Yep, that's why I do it. Two sets of people mentioned Nomad Lifestyle randomly tonight. It's blowing up. Well, you know, hey, you know, with technology, it does make it easier. But for people with families and stuff, it's still not going to be the norm, but it will grow a little bit. Just not, you know, huge. Queen, what is that? Caterpillar? Jacob, I can agree with that. Just keep carrying on in the face of life. I don't have much to talk about, but I'll be listening. Well, Jacob, love to you, brother. Israel, Gina, Sammy, be careful not to collapse. You're right. You work so much. I was thinking about that today. I got to be careful to balance, but you need some free time. Now you're right. And I, I, that's what I'm thinking about. Just to clean your head and relax. Great advice, brother. You're very smart, man. Do you, but be careful, brother. That's no, great advice. And I was thinking about that today. I don't want to. I don't want to have too many days where I don't go to the gym. You know, I'm a little bit fired up. I felt today like the DoorDash starting to burn down. Like even though today, like at least I made eighty-five dollars to work five hours, but and I enjoy doing it. I'm driving. I'm not, you know, like lifting heavy stuff. But it's still navigating traffic and in and out of restaurants and dealing with people. A couple of bad people today. It does wear on you. You do need self-care time. So I will start to balance out. I'm still in the beginning phase where I'm just trying to figure it, you know, I'm starting to figure it out. So as I level out in the next couple of weeks or whatever, I definitely want to do four straight weeks uh, after my main job just to see what the average would be per week if I did it like five hours a night. Uh, then I can get a baseline data. So I plan to do a video now once every week for the next four weeks so I can average what I would make per week if I did it after hours and on the weekend and then what I would make for a month. Uh, I would like to have a, a balanced life where I can make a thousand dollars extra a month doing DoorDash and I think that's very obtainable. If you did DoorDash full-time, if you were a hustler, if, if I had all day and all weekend to do DoorDash, I think I could clear close to 2000 to be honest with you. I mean, you know, you could hustle, uh, but you have to be in a certain area. I mean, you can't be in the middle of nowhere. You have to be a hustler uh, and you have to be consistent. Um, but, you know, I'm not looking to do that now. I'm just looking to have baseline data. I'll, I'll do a video every four, every week to get data 
At the end of the month, I'll do a review. Uh, and then, you know, just make an assessment. Uh, Queen, hello, everyone. I'm tough. I have an overnight security offer. That's a great job, but not sure if it's worth hurting my health. Read Overnight's bad for you. I worked overnight for about five years. I did get overweight, but let me tell you something. Take it. Take it and figure it out. If you don't like it, then after a few months, you could door dash during the day. You could do that. Brother, I would take it. In my opinion, I want you to do whatever you want. I don't want to force my will on you, M. Tough. Um, I would take it uh, because not a lot of, I, I like that job, especially as a nomad. If, you, if you're a nomad, phew, that's a no-brainer, man. You just solved the nomad's biggest problem. Where are you going to sleep at night? Uh, you're going to be working. You can sleep during the day. You can go to any park. Any park is legal to you know, just sit in your car and sleep. So brother, uh, I would definitely, it's up to you though. I don't want to force my will on you. And I want to, you know, you have to have the freedom to choose your life and to live your life, but you have so many options there. And look, a part of the reason my health, I, I got overweight when I was working the nights was because I just wasn't structured in my life. You know, cause even when I worked the door the day shift, I was overweight. I just wasn't a structured life. So no matter what shift you work, you have to structure your life. And that, that takes a conscious effort and consistency. So yes, nights is a little bit harder. Um, so you have to be mindful because uh, your biological clock for some people, some people are night owls, but you know, I, I would take a serious look at it, brother. And if I, I was you, I would accept it, but I'm not you. And I want to give you the space to do whatever you want. Colin, April 11th, I'm heading down to Florida. All right. Second Florida car camp vacation. Can't wait. Well, Colin, I'm a supporter of you. You've been a supporter of mine. And I want to show equal love and respect and supportiveness. And tough. Yeah, I'm going to put 100%. I don't want to make $100 a day off it. Yeah, just start off slow, brother. Start small. You know, just get a couple deliveries under your belt just so you can break down the fear barrier. Because the first couple of deliveries, you're going to be scared as hell. The first couple of days. And it's okay. Just take it one step at a time. Build your confidence. And then you'll be okay. Come forward, hey Sam. A little chilly tonight. Yes, yeah, South Florida. No, it's freezing. It's like, you know, I don't know what it is now. Maybe it's like 59 degrees or so. It's crazy. <laughs> they would kill for that down up north north. Still paradise though. Huh. And Florida is the warmest state on average in the entire United States. That's why it's the most visited state for tourism. Uh it's not California, it's not Texas, it's not Hawaii. Florida, um, uh, well, Hawaii, I don't know. Hawaii may be close. Uh, but look, Florida is the biggest tourism. Uh, state in the world and to me it's the warmest state in the winter that's facts uh and I, I love florida but that's just me everyone should do what they want tony only reason i'm wondering if i could order crab cakes from ocean city that's like three hours from me from example i'm not 100 percent, but what i heard is i think you're you you have, you have to be within a five or ten mile radius of your house to to use the door dash i don't think they'll allow you to order after a certain mileage radius but you have to check in on that queen but again always if you have the money anyone will do anything right so if you're willing to spend enough money anyone will do everything i remember like my mom always telling me that she goes sam if you got the money people will do it and because i remember like going to a car dealership or different times i purchased items and i wanted like maybe something customized or special and they said well if you got the money we can find somebody to do it and you know that's always the answer you know to some extent um so if you got the money uh, and you want to spend it on a three-hour delivery, I'm sure somebody will deliver it. Queen, Sam, yeah, you're preaching. You did a very good job. Doug from New Mexico. Yeah, he's uh, on the uh, L.A. time, so it's not too late for him. Sam, wow. Isn't this a late time? Yeah, but I'm just doing it because I want to be consistent and I want to show love and respect. I love my YouTube channel. Look, I spent a year and a half building it. I have some great people in here. Uh, Bar, I see you. You're next, brother, and I love you. Uh, and I want to put energy into it time i mean youtube is one of the things i enjoy to do uh and i will continue to put energy into it time and build it over time to make it part of my life and um and you know part of my future uh, i did not expect to catch you live but you caught me brother good job bart what's up man how's your channel going how's your life going sam i completely agree with you about using your potential to the fullest yep I love my career, but like you, here you go, brother. Good job. I always exploring other avenues just in case. Oh yeah. Love and respect, brother. You got your, me and you on the same page. Use your creativity, use everything you have, create alternate sources of revenue, um, and try to build your life around doing things you love. Uh, you're not going to be able to always make a full-time income off it, but it helps to know mentally that you have other options. And when you do things you love, it's not always work like YouTube. Like I'm going live right now. Is it like work? No, I mean, it's effort, 
you know, you don't just have a YouTube channel and grow without putting effort into it. But I also enjoy doing it. It's part of my gift. So it's not like work, work. I enjoy it. Uh, it's a little bit of both. Jacob. Uh, hey, I'm going to be getting a gym membership, but I, but I only have LA Fitness around me. I, I explored them in the beginning. Their bathrooms are dirty as hell around my area. Now, because I'm extremely antisocial, any advice on dealing with people in a gym, I think I worded it. Yes, go after 10 p.m. If you go to the gym from 10 p.m., now I know Planet Fit, I mean, LA Fitness, most of them are not 24 seven. That and their bathrooms were dirty. That was the main reason why I chose uh, Planet Fitness over LA Fitness and Planet Fitness has more locations. I like LA Fitness because it has a pool and it has a basketball gym. I remember, I think I joined up for LA Fitness originally for like the first three months and then I said, I plan fitness better. But with LA Fitness, I don't know how late they're open, but what I would tell you is you do not want to go to the gym from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. You don't want to go that time. And you don't want to go in the morning from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. From 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. You want to go to the gym in these time windows, 10 a.m., to 4 p.m. That's when everyone's at work and there's dead. It's not too many people. Or at night, if it was open late, from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. You want to go in the off hours where you don't have to deal with people. Now, if you have a job and you can't accommodate that, then, you know, you just got to deal with it. But that's what be my recommendation. Good job. Uh, Jacob, sorry. It's off topic. Not Jacob. You know, I love you, brother. Share whatever you want, man. Jesus. Jesus. I can't work indoors. Everyone's different. I know people that work constructions. I, I hated construction. I said, as soon as I can get out of this, I'm out. But I know some people say, Sam, I can never be in an office like you. I hate it. I got to be outside. So I said, everyone needs to play to their strengths. For some people, they enjoy doing construction. I remember telling a guy I was project managing a job. He was a construction worker and I was laying out the job for him. I said, man, I'm sorry I'm making you do this. I don't. And he goes, Sam, he goes, I love doing this. This is my job. And see, I, I couldn't understand that because I hated construction. I just did it because that's how I needed to feed myself. But he was doing construction because he loved it. So everyone's different, you know. Uh, Queen, I don't know. I just saw this emoji. Well, damn it, Queen, you're on fire. Fire emoji to you, Tony. Sam, people do waste a lot of time. I do. I can't lie. But I'm getting better. There you go. That's positive self-talk, and I like that. That's better right there. With time management, good job, brother. With my band, I'm proud of you. And I can't afford to drive an hour and practice for five hours, but we are getting better. Uh, great comment, Tony. Very positive self-talk and forward going, uh, just a forward positive mindset, brother. Tony, great job, man. Um, sketchy. Hey, dude, I'm going to start living out of my, oh, uh, Psycon. I know a guy that has Psycon in a few days. I'm very excited. I'm happy for you, brother, but I'm nervous too. It's understandable. That's, that's all we all, yeah, it's anything new is going to be nervous. That's okay. Really thankful, uh, that winter's almost over. Yes. Uh, everyone living in their car up north, just know that once you get to the middle of March, you got the last big cold front right now. Once you get past the middle of March, you're good. I totally agree with that. Yep, it's almost over because I live in North Idaho. Okay, love your videos. Thank you, brother, and sketchy prayer emoji to your brother. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be scared. You know, uh, and and it doesn't have to be a for everything. But I would just say stay with it for a little bit just to build up your confidence, and then you know just give yourself the freedom to change your mind whenever you want. But just give things enough time to learn. And then, you know, you, you'll be okay. Good job. Doug, Sammy, we were in the 70s in New Mexico. I love and respect to New Mexico. I know that you support that. Sunny and warm. Loved it. I'm imagine. Looking forward to the DoorDash experience. Well, I'm going to document it, brother. You could do I don't know if they got it out there in New Mexico. Uh, so, But it's something maybe you could do. But I know you're a salesman. Again, Doug's a salesman. He, everyone should play their strength. You should see some of Doug's comments that he wrote like that encouraged me. This guy wrote like a five-page essay, and I read it. I was like, damn, that was encouraging as hell. And I said, Doug, man, thank you for taking all the time to write that comment. That must have been a pain in the ass. And he was saying that. That was quick for me because I love to write. I love to articulate the thought. I love to sell, you know. So what he loves to do, I may not like to type that long. So you see, everyone has a different thing that gets them excited about life. Cameron, I'm going to see the... Oh, the Smithsonian Museum next month. Well, shout out to Manhattan and the Upper East Side uh, where all the museums are. What I go to? The Met, uh, Gala, what was the other one shaped while the Guggenheimer or whatever they call it. Yeah, I mean, I've been to a few big museums when I used to walk around New York. Uh, they're nice to go in. I got a nice atmosphere, but it's just a bunch of stuff. 
Uh, oh, it's just a bunch of collectibles. Fancy collectibles, expensive. But you should go. I, I made a conscious effort to go to a lot of museums in New York, even though I can't pronounce some of the names. And it was a good experience. So you should do it. I think it's wisdom. Uh, but then after a while, I just uh, it's just a bunch of knickknacks. That's all it is. Old people knickknacks. Like old, old people. Like artifacts. Uh, but Cameron, you should do it. Great experience. Great culture. Jacob, thanks, Sam. Love to you, brother. Nate, yeah, I sleep for a few hours. I go 2, 3 a.m. It's nice. I have a buddy who goes to... It's nice, and nobody's there. I'm not mad. Tony, come on. I live in Maryland. Let me know. I might be able to give you some directions. Tony, it's a traffic nightmare downtown. All oh, it is. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., that whole area is a total disaster. Even Virginia, total disaster. Almost as bad as New York. Total disaster, guys. Sketchy. The support and energy you provide. Love to you, brother. Thank you. I will probably be here a lot. That's uh, well, I, I enjoy the live streams. Thank you, brother. I appreciate the compliment, and I sincerely thank you. But what I can tell you is you may like me for three months, and then you may get tired of me. That's part of life. That's okay, too. You don't have to be here forever. I hope you are. But I, I want to give people freedom. Every Everything in life has a season. Uh, you know, you may live out of your car for six months, then say, look, I don't want to do this anymore. And why are you going to watch a guy living? You know, I just want to say thank you. And if tomorrow you never watch me again, that's okay. But I appreciate your positive energy towards me, and I thank you for your support. Doug, we do not have DoorDash in Belong, but up in Albuquerque. I know Albuquerque. DoorDash is definitely alive and popping. Well, damn it, Doug. You may have to. How far is that from you? How far is Albuquerque, brother? Sketchy. Meant to say love. Nah, I saw love, man. Love and respect you also, brother. Laughing good. Come on, thanks. Jacob, I can agree. I love museums. If people forget their history, who are they? Now, what do I mean? I hear you, brother. I hear you. Well, guys and girls, I love you, man. And I appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys sharing your life with me. Live and live alone. Live. I think about you. Live. You are thought of. You matter. We care about you. We appreciate you. Your voice matters. Your perspective matters. We love you. Okay. Doug says Albuquerque needs 35 minutes, 35 miles north. Pshaw. I door dash way more miles than 34 miles, 5 miles. You could drive up there, brother. What kind of car you got, Doug? Tony. Jacob, I agree. I'm going to Washington State at some point to go chill with the Yamakati. I don't know what that means. Liv, thank you. I need that, Liv. We all need love when we love you. It's a rough day. I don't hear you, but you, you showed up. And tomorrow, Liv, you show up again. You keep showing up. Stay positive, And you're going to be fine. Just leave and work. You made it to work. Liv, you did one of the hardest things there is to do, and that's just to show up. Tomorrow, you show up again. You want to know what Ray's doing? Ray asked me, what do I do? I don't know what he does, but I can guarantee you one thing. He don't show up. Okay, Show up, Liv. You're going to be fine. Good job. Doug, Toyota Corolla and Nissan truck. Well, you could drive the Corolla. The Nissan truck, you may have to leave with wifey, Pam. But the Corolla, you could drive up there and DoorDash all night long, man. I'm tough. Do you decline? Oh, good question. Far did I didn't decline any door dashes for five days straight. I didn't want to. Today I accidentally missed one because my phone was on vibrate. I missed it and I was like, oh my God, my rating not a hundred. Then I actually, after that, I accepted the delivery. And what I hate so far, the number one negative thing about DoorDash is when you're picking up a delivery and you get another delivery on top of that. It's what they call a bundled or stacked delivery. You're, you're in route to pick up something else. And instead of you going to the drop-off spot first, they uh, alert you again. They want you to pick up something else. And I declined it because I did that once and I got screwed. I don't like latched or what they call stacked orders where you do two, two orders simultaneously. I denied two twice. They want to give me $5 extra to go IHOP, which was like uh, 20 minutes up the road in rush hour. And I would have had to drop that off like in 10 minutes. I said, no way. I I'll kill myself trying to get up there. So in the beginning, you're not going to want to decline anything and try not to decline anything. Try to save your declines only for when it's really not worth it. And those are usually double stacked orders. But other than that, I would accept just about everything. Uh, and that's a good question. Um, Jacob, Tony, I'm going to be visiting a friend in Washington and I definitely will check that out. Tony, the Yakaha tribe are in Washington State. Okay. They are my girlfriend's tribe. Well, I'm not mad at that. Thank you for sharing, brother. Well, guys and girls, I love you. Live, we love you. And everyone, you know, just use every bit of 
energy, talent, gifts that you have. Um, Liv, Sam, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for sharing with us. And Liv, thank you for sharing with us too. You share your soul. Your videos, I see you pouring out your soul. And what I'm telling you is God's going to bless you. When you take the plastic off your couch and you expose your soul, even if you get trolled on, even if you get no one who supports you, if no one watches you, if no one encourages you, it all matters. And it all progressively over time builds your life and creates a destiny and a life that's more inspiring. But it only happens when you take the cover off your couch, when you expose your soul and you're willing to just do things until you figure out what works best. And you will figure it out. You will be okay. Good job. Jacob, I'm definitely be checking their history then. Good night, Sam. I'll do my best here tomorrow. Love to you, Jacob. Love to everyone. Tony, to you too, brother. Blessings and peace be with you.